Always had thick. Ugh. What is this? Yes, sir. Boss battle. Crushing high arts. Alrighty, so for today's episode, we're focusing on Rift Storm, a brand new alpha demo that is released on Steam. And it's essentially a co-op top-down, you know, isometric view action shooter. And I just want to hop in to see like how far the process of this alpha build. Luckily, I was able to play Rift Storm. Uh, if I remember correctly, I was able to get a key. So I just want you guys to know that this key was given to me to check out this game early for you guys. It is controller support, so I will be playing this on controller as well. But let's hop right in. I just want to be able to show you guys what is this. This is going to be a more of a first impressions request, uh, first impressions type of video. So let's just hop right in. All right so let's hop in this bad guy so we have the natural hub of the area so we got loadouts over here if you want to change out your weapons we have if you want to start your missions so it looks like the hub area just for all of your characters nice hub area i like the isometric view so the tutorial basically essentially it's a rogue light it has roguelike elements let me see if i can change out my loadout so far i love the character design already so this is starling and i could choose between three different people so i could choose starling cold atlas or icarus so let's see what atlas looking like oh i love the design too okay and then icarus oh i like icarus he looks more like a sniper based character so yeah starling looks more like your running gun type atlas looks more like a shotgun but let's play with let's play with starling first see what she feels like so her main gun she gets is a ar and a pistol uh let's see what what they so yeah you get a shotgun with this guy so he's more of a aoe type because you know shotguns got the spread so essentially they got he has a stump but yeah he's an aoe type so he gets a stump stomp ability which jump and do 300 uh, aoe damage when it's operative lands not bad he has an evasive of course and his passive increased shotgun women is by 50 percent and of course you got icarus which would be the sniper build yep he has a sniper rifle dead shot his ability is a deployment drone so you get to play drones now more like a rogue based character so it's not nothing too crazy right nothing too crazy of course you can level them up you get three different actives you get three passives plus an invasive you get one main weapon and a sub weapon as well and it looks like there's more other types of weapons coming soon like i said this is just the alpha build so let me play a starling i want to see what she's looking like first uh, i only played her you only get to play her like through this through the actual tutorial but i just want to play a mission with her okay so now we're picking up missions so we can either go to port charlotte town you can do a challenge tower which has many floors so kind of like a grinding towers mode like a dungeon tower Gian and ultimate showdown so let's do so yeah every and then of course whenever you're done with a mission come over here when well, not done with the mission you can actually come over to the this crystal here you interact with it then this is where the roguelike feature come into place of upgrading your character like a meta progression you know roguelite so i can do other backstabs so hitting enemies from behind increases crit rate reaction shot perfect dodges increase critical rate by 50 percent. not bad and i get the oh i do the fire rate up aura she's more of a she's more of a running gun type character anyway and essentially just move area to area take on waves enemies And as you will notice, like I said, it has that roguelike feature because, like, it definitely has that meta progression. Very linear levels. I wouldn't say linear. They do got their twists and curves, but it's definitely very linear levels. Of course, like I said, this is only the alpha bit, the alpha build, so I'm not even going to crit it. Like, so far, I'm having a good time playing this. It, I could see where it can get, definitely get addicting. Right now, we're starting to see a variable in enemy differences. Yeah, like I'm starting to see like variable differences and 
enemies. Like right now, it's just mainly the dog enemies right now. So, and I just came across the the dudes who were charging towards me. So, like, I, I'm start. I'm seeing the process. It's it's all a progress. I can't wait to see like what else this game has to offer right now. This is just my first run to Falcon Rounds. Yeah, like as the game progresses, like you, I'm you just I'm telling you, get stronger. Just for some people who don't understand the roguelike features or stuff like that oh and you also got a currency so there's a essence currency right so essence is what you would get when you're killing enemies and you could utilize the essence to spend it on the items you're getting throughout the game then you have the life on list which is essentially all the abilities you have during your given run so that's cool like i like that cool neat feature you could pull up up the map here if you want to put on chat, talk to your team. Good job. On your controller, this feels amazing too. Feels amazing on both keyboard and mouse and controller. So you can definitely tell the devs really was looking out for all types of players. And that's what I'd see in devs. Woo! Psych boy, let's go, boy. Nah, this is fun, right? So I. Like, early on, it's slow, but I like that hecticness that I get when I'm playing roguelikes. Like, Hades, bro? Oh. Oh, man. I love playing Hades. Hades is fun. Uh, Dreamscaper, that's another one. I don't know if you guys checked that one out yet, but Dreamscaper, that's another one. Oh, that's a big dude. And when you get to the end of the map, which is how the map looks, it was very... This one was very simple. Oh, and now we finished the mission. Pioneer achievement unlocked. So I did. I spent 10 minutes, 20 seconds in the mission for Port Charlottetown. Highest damage was 649. Total damage 123,857. 148 enemies killed. Let's go. Now, I can say one bug, just in case if the dev team, if you guys are watching this video right now. So I am on controller, and there's no way for me to click continue now of course we are playing this on pc so i can easily just pop up the mouse and just hover over continue but it if you guys could figure out a way to get that to work because i am playing our controller and there's no cursor that pops up when we get to these sub menus like this that's just one one little not really a critique but you know improvement like i said this game is an alpha build don't expect high-end stuff like i'm don't expect none of that Oh, I could take all. Oh, yeah, I'm taking all this. Yeah, we we taking that. And you could take weapons with you. Oh, my God. I like that. So let's hop over to loadout. Oh, see, yeah, like these modes here. My controller, I cannot actually do anything. It's like my controller deactivates and I have to hop back on keyboard and mouse. So that is one little, uh, it could be better. Definitely could be better. Yeah, like that's that's definitely weird, but it's fine. Uh, if you guys know what's what's wrong with that uh, the dev team, you could definitely figure that one out for sure. But yeah, other than that, I don't have any too many complaints. Like I said, I just like to give criticism, uh, like, you know, good critique. Right now, the game is fun. I haven't run into any bugs other than just like that sub menu part here like even when i'm picking a mission i i can't actually do anything with the controller i have to actively use it now like i said nothing wrong with that that is to each their own some people care about it some people don't but i just little little thing i want to let make note so i am going to try out the xeon uh xeon mission just so you guys get a feel of uh, so i just played the port charlotte town i'm gonna play xeon I wonder what's the actual roadmap for for Rift Star. This game, like I said, it's definitely fun. It definitely is fun. Uh, it's something that, like, especially with the co-op, three-player co-op, or some, I think four-player, but just playing with your friends. And, you know, we got a little bit of lag spikes here and there, but like I said, nothing that is outright crazy, like, this is bad like for how clean this this build i am playing on right now the alpha build it's it's pretty good so you like i said you guys will notice that i am picking up edson's shards that is how i can spend my currency in this game artifact here i can pick it up 
and this will allow me to further upgrade your character so i am playing on another mission so now because of another mission i am now starting at the very beginning that's that rogue light feature to it and another thing is when you're in mission i can't hit pause that's another thing like i can't even hit escape so uh, that's another little little insight i've noticed Oh, it's hectic. Ugh. What is this? Yes, sir. Boss battle. Crushing high artists. Please, 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 show, show, show. And of course, you got your boss battle. So this is the second boss battle of life. What? Ah! Oh, sh come on, head tubby, tubby, get out of here, bro. Jesus Christ! There we go. So yeah, I did the Sheon defense and. Char uh, charlatan and you get the challenge tower and you got the ultimate showdown but yeah this is right here this is rip storm yeah this is rip storm want to know what you guys think about rip storm yourselves this game honestly is not that bad it's honestly pretty good actually it's definitely i would say like it's mixing a lot of genre like it because it gives you that like that the isometric view gives you the immersion like you're playing like into the gungeon um isaac uh the isaac games um arpgs diablo style you know your isometric view but that roguelike feeling going level to level like kind of like how other air like hades dreamscaper so this being new and it's being a shooter it's actually not bad and i like the fact of like the loot system you can always there's a rarity system there's a lot that is in this game that we just haven't seen yet and i can't wait to see the rest of like the equipments we can get during the game all the crazier weapons and i would like to see the other six uh the other six uh people we can actually play as like there's so much that i'm just like it's simple at nature but like it looks like it's a lot deeper than it needs than it is and like yeah three passes three actors per character plus an evasive you got almost nine characters that you're going to be playing as like i said this is alpha build alpha testing pre-alpha 0.3.1 leveling system you get a main gun sub gun and three equipments to go with that character you can craft your loadout you can play with friends you got your missions here you can do uh other things here like check out raids and stuff that see what other people are doing online like they are this is gonna be something right uh, I have a ping of 40 milliseconds for alpha build, so nothing too crazy. But I don't know what you guys think about Rift Storm. This, like I said, this is the preview build. I want to see what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you guys going to be checking this out? If you want to check it out yourself, uh, if you go on Steam, there should be a request access to see if you can be part of the play test so you can play with the friends and all that. But if you are, already have played Rift Storm, I want to hear your guys' thoughts about it in the comment section below. Make sure to like the video. It helps the channel out. I'm trying to grow the community much better. And as well as subscribe to the channel. It helps out plenty. Your boy's trying to get to a 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. But other than that, it's been your host, KIC TV. Here at Chaotic Inc. signing out. Peace. I make a manifest. I don't sleep. That's so weak. Don't plan to rest. I'm from a hood where you die if you don't pack a vest. No culinary degrees, but whipping crack the best. Chefing. Hard times taught lessons. Praying every night to pull up and park benzes. Uh, what's my home is what you call trenches. You wouldn't last a day seeing life through all lenses. Uh, 
it's all tension, no sun, and rain and plenty. Full time job, still can never make a penny. 